Here's our mascot, Super Mighty Mole. You can see the SMM on the top. The number one thing that the Super Mighty Mole will always tell us about safety, common sense. If you're ever doing anything that you're just not sure about, don't do it, ask for help. This is a safety shower. Okay, so one of the things that you'll see here is that little uh, triangle, like pull handle right there, whatever you wanna do, you do not under any circumstances wanna pull this just to see what happens. There is a huge amount of water that will come crashing down on you and you'll get in lots of trouble. Now, on the other hand, if, however, you have an excess of chemicals on you, that's what this is for. It's not to put out fires. It's like if I were to spill like a huge thing of acid or base on me or some other caustic chemical, um, I would go ahead and pull this just to get off me as quick, quick as possible. Honestly, I've never been in a case where anyone has ever had to pull this, but it's nice to know that we have. This is an eye wash. Okay, so uh, first thing you'll need to do if you get something in your eyes that's harming your eyes is to pull out your contacts or I'll have to pull out your contacts. You, that's why you should always wear goggles. Essentially, I'm gonna drag you over here or your lab partner will. We're going to push this down. Oh, it's gonna shoot up water here. And then for about one minute consistently, I'm gonna to have to hold your head here so this is spraying up into your eyes. Your eyes are considered part of your brain. Uh, they don't heal very well on their own. That's why God, it's absolutely imperative that when we're doing labs, that you have to wear goggles. Uh, and this is very important. And I, again, I've never had to use an eye wash in all the years that I've been doing this, but it's important to know. Here's a sink. Number one thing you'll have to do here, wash your hands. Um, the best way to do it is to do it for at least the time it takes you to sing the ABC song. Use hot and cold water. Don't be afraid to use paper towel and make sure the paper towel goes in the garbage. Safety goggles. Again, it is required by law. You must wear safety goggles in a classroom when we are doing labs. This is has a UV light that will basically kill any bugs. You can use mine, or if you want to, you can bring your own. Uh, either way, it's imperative and uh, you have to wear goggles and they have to be approved goggles. They have to be splash proof and safety goggles for- These for are properly approved goggles. Um, they're splash proof, uh, there's air vents. You cannot wear paintball goggles. You can't wear ski goggles. You can't wear the ones that are glasses. Uh, these are the best ones you can use to protect your eyes. If you're not sure, please check with me first. Okay, Bunsen burners, we're going to use this. Now, notice there's the gas jet right here, leads through into the inlet right here. Uh, this is the a needle valve. There's the, what's called the airport, the barrel. Uh, this is the base. Uh, we're gonna learn all about how to use these properly and how to light them. Whenever this is at a right angle, it's off. This would be on. This would be off, okay? So whenever it's at a right angle, it's turned off. What's the red line for? Well, if you see just above it, there's a cabinet right here, which is a fuel load. If you put the Bunsen burner anywhere beyond that red line, yes, that's right, the cabinet will start on fire. Do not do that. The Bunsen burner should always be over here, and you should always take precautions to always have your hair pulled back, make sure you don't have any long dangling clothes, and you're exercising proper safety, and especially you don't want to have a fuel load like a big thing of paper towels or your lab papers nearby. We are also going to use gas quite a bit. There's an on-off valve right here, okay, that will turn the gas on and off for the room. If there's ever a problem, anything that you're concerned about, all you have to do is to hit this button. It will not only shut off all the gas, it shuts off all the power to the entire room. Again, have never had to use that. It's just a safety precaution. Last but not least, fire extinguisher and fire blanket. Now, if there's a fire so bad or you're on fire, again, do not run. Uh, stop, drop, and roll is the number one thing. This is a fireproof blanket. Again, I've never had to use, I've never had to, uh, use this in all the time I've been here. Um, and there's a fire extinguisher. Uh, always shoot at the base. And again, I've never had to use this. Uh, there's an irritant uh, chemical they put in there that will make everyone's eyes tear up. They do that on purpose because they're like, hey, if there's a fire, don't try and fight it. Get out of the room and get help. But in case we have to, there it is.